Hi guys, welcome to Illusionist. I'm Dan Chard and this is an Orthodox Reset. So I've taken out two four of a kinds. We have the four aces and the four kings. So I'm going to start off by taking the kings and leaving them off to one side like so. And then using the cards in my hand, which are the four aces. So I'm going to start by making the aces change place with the kings one at a time. So I rub the first one like this. You see the first king travels across. My objective is to switch them one at a time. The rubber is the top, that's when the first queen jumps across. I know, I know. The next king, if we take like so, actually watch, the ace will actually travel and change. Now the interesting thing about this, I'm going to place the um, king off to one side. Now if we take this ace and snap, that's the moment, this one doesn't change, but we actually look at the card underneath changes to this king. If you snap again, that's when you get one, two, three, and four kings. Watch for this, we snap the fingers, that's when the next one changes. We have one, two, three, and four kings. So if the kings are here now over here, we should in fact have the one, two, three, and four aces. But we'll try and make the um, trick go backwards. So we take the kings like so, and I'm just going to wave this king over the cards like this, and you should see we instantly go back to having the one, two, three, and four aces. If you watch the queen like this, and if you wave, that's it instantly, and you instantly get the one, two, three, and four aces. And the question is, if I've got the aces here now, what's on the table? Queens. Queens. But watch this, if we wave the queens, oh no, that's the moment they instantly become one, two, three, four aces. And down here, that's where the queens are. I know. Thank you very much. The kings. If we take the kings and wave, that's the moment it should instantly change. So one, two, three, four aces, and over here are the kings. Enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Illusionist. My name is Daniel Chard. This is an effect called shocking transposition. Let's get into it. So when you cut the cards like this, um, your common objective is to try and find a high card. So in this case, we have a king. So rather than just one king, we try and find, in this case, all four. So we have one, two, three, and four. If you were gonna try and find high cards in this case, you didn't see the snap and get them to change to the one, two, three, and four aces. So in this case, we have a queen. Quite good. If you actually watch the cards like so, can you get Oh, four queens. No, that's not real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I imagine this. So here you can see the queens like this, ready? Really? Watch very closely as we take the queens, we snap, and they instantly change to one, two, no. three, and four aces. Thank you. Now this is all well and good, but this leaves you with an interesting question now, see where are the kings? So I'm going to place the aces off to one side, over there under the box, and I'm going to try and shuffle to the four kings like so. Like a few cuts, and I'm going to give myself chance to estimate their positions. So actually you look through the um, deck, you should be able to roughly find where those cards are. So in this case you can see we have one, two, three, four, ah, aces. If you actually look over here, underneath the box, you should see the one, two, three, four kings. Push your hand down. I'm going to try and shuffle to the four queens, you ready? If I shuffle the deck like so, we should have the four queens. That's real magic. Four queens like this. Yeah. Four queens, one, two, three, and the <laughs> That's a trick I like to call shocking transposition. Thank you.